In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, a rookie mistake. Now, this is a term we use when we're talking about someone who's new at something and then they make a mistake. At school, a, oh, by the way, a rookie is someone who's new at something. Uh, when you play a sport, you can be a rookie. It means it's your first year. But we use this in other things as well. At school, sometimes we hire a new teacher and we call that teacher a rookie for the first year. And a rookie mistake as a teacher would be to try and use the photocopier right before the school day starts. That's the busiest time. If you need to photocopy something in a school, don't do it <laughs> right before school starts because there will be a lineup of teachers all making the same mistakes, including the rookie. So anyways, a rookie mistake is a mistake that someone who is new at something ends up making. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase, an honest mistake. Now, an honest mistake is just a mistake that anyone would make. And it's a mistake that doesn't really harm anyone. A good example would be this. Sometimes I'll teach a student and then a few years later, I'll teach their brother. So I'll teach two brothers. And then a few years later, again, after they've graduated, I'll meet one of them somewhere and I'll use the wrong name. And that's just an honest mistake. Sometimes brothers look a lot alike, especially after they graduate from high school. If you uh, meet two brothers in their 20s, they can sometimes look quite a bit alike. So it's just an honest mistake if I use the wrong name when I run into one of them. So to review, a rookie mistake is a mistake made by someone who's new at something. Uh, a rookie mistake for a farmer is to try and work up the soil before it's dry enough. That's a rookie mistake. And an honest mistake is just a simple mistake that anyone would make. And it's not a mistake that harms anyone or costs money or anything like that. So I make a lot of those actually. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Judith. Thanks for the video. It was quite short as usual. Christmas is coming as well as the Eagle season in North Florida. Check them out. And my response, I'll have a look. And I did. I actually just spent a little bit of time reading about bald eagles. And I wanted to show all of you something as well. So the bald eagle is native to North America. It's an eagle with a white head. I think it's the national bird in the United States. But if you look behind me here, there's a really tall hydropole right there. We call them hydropoles in Canada. And at the very top, sometimes in the summer, we'll see a bald eagle. There is a bald eagle that lives on our farm. I'm sure it's gone now though, because I'm sure it's gone south for the winter where it's a bit warmer. But interestingly enough, Judith, uh, thanks for that comment. I did read a little bit about uh, bald eagles. And again, there's one that sometimes perches right at the top of that uh, hydro pole. You might call it a utility pole if you are in America or something like that. Um, by the way, I'm out here in the rain. It's a little bit slippery out here. Let's see if... So I actually ended up staying home today. We had, I guess we would call it technically, we would call it a snow day but it's actually more accurate to call it an ice day. We woke up to freezing rain. It was very, very dangerous to walk outside. It was very, very dangerous to drive. So uh, we found out that school was canceled. So I had a day, a day off. It was kind of nice. It's been a while since I've had a day off. It's been a while since I've had a snow day. Now it is a little wet and cold still, but it's above zero now, so it's not as dangerous, but uh, I'm glad I'm not at work now because it's supposed to get really cold again, so the drive home would have been dangerous. Anyways, see you with another video in a few days. Bye.